Aloha. Thank you for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary. No, the United States is not over. Contrary to the views of the depressed, our greatest strength, our greatest vitality, is our diversity. Diversity is not just people from faraway cultures that are arriving today. It's also people who have arrived before and who are making their way, finding what they and their families have longed for, realizing their destinies, becoming embedded sometimes painfully in our America. People who manage to go to school, even against the odds, who become teachers, scientists, professionals, and entrepreneurs, just as they had hoped in their American dream. People who are free to express themselves, to find expertise, to listen and speak up on social and political issues, who run for office and bring clear-eyed altruism to the national conversation, which we need so desperately. It's a new and promising generation. They were pubescent ten years ago and are now ready to take the mantle of community awareness, people who care about others and have enough guts and vision to go around. We need to appreciate and encourage them. We need to help them. We need to let them have their way to make their greatest contributions. And we must avoid the inexcusable sins of cynicism, racism, and bigotry. We must care for them as they care for us, not because of our respective agendas, but because of the highest common values of our democracy, and because we will all benefit if we build a kinder, gentler city on the hill for everyone. We must all be free and allow others to be free to live this American dream. From a world of threatening complexity, we must build a world of enlightened mutual respect, and thus a much more productive and perfect union. What have you done to build that world today? Thank you for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary. Aloha.